Howdy partner. Today I would like to teach you how to find the percent compositions of sodium chromium and oxygen in sodium chromate. First thing is we're going to find the total mass and then we'll find those percentages. Take a look. Bam. So the first step is to write the elements down that we see. So we got sodium, chromium, oxygen. Next is then to identify the number of atoms and that's where the subscripts come into play. If you don't see a subscript, just put in a one. That means we've got two sodium, one chromium, and four oxygen. Then we're going to take those number of atoms and multiply it by the mass of the elements. That's found, they, they are found on the periodic table, all right? So here's a periodic table. Sodium is 22.99, chromium is 52, oxygen is 16. So that's what we're going to write down. So this is 22.99 for sodium, chromium was 52, and oxygen was going to be 16, all right? Then to find the total mass of the element in the compound, let's say for sodium, simply multiply this row and across, all right? So that's going to be 45.98 units of mass. Chromium is simply 52. And then oxygen is going to be 64, all right? And then to find the total mass of the entire compound, literally all you got to do is just add up this column. See how nice and easy that is, right? So this is 161.98 units of mass since we're solving for, and there you have it, right? That's the total mass. That's the first step. Now I'm going to add a column to help us calculate those percentages. Watch how easy peasy this is. Bam. So to find the mass percent of sodium, we're simply going to take the total mass of the sodium divided by the total mass of the entire compound. So we've got 45.98 divided by the total compound, 160. 1.9, what am I doing, 98, then multiply that by 100 to get it into percentage terms. It's a simple percent, part over whole times 100, all right? And the percentage here will roughly work out to be 28, 28.39%, all right? And that's all there is to that. Next is then for chromium, take the total mass of the chromium 52 divided by the total mass of the entire compound 161.98, multiply that by 100, and the percentage here will work out to be about 32.10. 3210. There you go. And last but not least, auction. Take the total mass of the auction, 64. Don't worry about the zeros there. It doesn't affect the calculation, but keep be careful. It might affect the sig figs, all right? Depending upon how particular your teacher is, that might be the difference between getting 100 and a 20. So we got 39, 39.51%. All right, that's the percentage there for oxygen. And to check yourself, you can simply just add these percentages on up, and it should be basically equal to 100%. You might be off by 100th, but, you know, that's because of some of the rounding maybe. But that's all it is, all right? Guys, thanks so very much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Um, if this has helped you out at all, like and subscribe. It definitely helps us out tremendously and allows us to produce more content for you, all right? Good luck on all your exams. Take care.